Well, a number of years ago, I needed to sell a property and I contacted a range of estate agents to inquire as to their fees and their service. And they all came back at in and around one and a half percent plus fat. So the property that I was selling at the time was, I estimated going to sell for in the region of 400,000 euro. I did a little bit of research on DAF and my own and the property price register. So one and a half percent of that was going to be 6,000. With VAT, it was going to be 7,000. And some wanted marketing fees on top of that. So it was going to be touching 8,000 euros. So that to me seemed like an egregiously high fee. And I, I was shocked that it cost so much to, to sell a property. Obviously, it's a very important job in terms of taking professional photography, getting the DAF listing and my home listing, and conducting viewings, managing the, the, the bidding and negotiation right through to, to sale agreed and ultimately on to, to sold. But even so, there just seemed to be a big disconnect between the fee that was being charged and the work involved in, in selling a property. So essentially, we set about building the estate agency that I had wished had been there when I was bringing that property to the market. So an estate agency that provides a high quality professional service for a reasonable fixed fee. And that's what Auctioneera is. Well, I think the whole commission-based pricing structure harks back to a pre-internet era, essentially. So when my parents bought their first property, they literally walked from estate agency to estate agency, literally flicking through photo albums of properties that were for sale. So that was a very cumbersome and inefficient and expensive way of selling property. So maybe then the commission-based pricing structure may have made some sense. But with the advent of the internet, that whole browsing experience has gone online and much of the heavy lifting of selling a property has, has gone with it. So all we have done is priced our service for an internet age, so to speak, to cover our costs and a reasonable margin and no more than, than that. So I don't think it's that we're particularly inexpensive. It's just that the other estate agents haven't updated their pricing structure to take account of the new reality of selling property. So the number one piece of advice that I would give would be to beware false profits. And what I mean by that is that when a vendor is bringing a property to the market, typically they will bring a number of estate agents out to the property to give them a valuation. So I think the terminology is even a little bit unhelpful. It's an opinion, that's all an estate agent can give. And the ultimate valuation is determined through the competitive bidding process on the open market. But of course, some unscrupulous estate agents will give a very high opinion or a very high valuation as to what they think the property will sell for in order to win the business and to justify their particularly high fee. So what Auctioneer does in advance of meeting all of our vendors, we will send to our client or prospective client at that point, a full comprehensive market research report showing all of the comparable properties that have recently sold in the area, the properties that are for sale in the area and the properties that have gone sale agreed in the area. And then the Auctioneer estate agent at the meeting will contextualize your property in the context of the overall market dynamics that persist at that particular time and give you a realistic valuation as to what your property is likely to sell for. And the important piece of advice is not just to go with the estate agent that gives you the highest opinion because that can actually be detrimental to your ultimate interests in terms of frightening off people who otherwise would have been interested to come out and bid on your property. So make sure any estate agent that comes to your property provides you with a written re report that shows how they arrived at their valuation. And don't just go with the highest number. So the second piece of advice that I would give would be to beware the mythical underbidder. And what I mean by that is that, again, some unscrupulous estate agents will say that I have sold a property locally and I have access proprietarily to a pool of underbidders who, if you list with me and pay my high fees, that I will give you access to. And the reality is that the full pool of buyers in the market are all online browsing and any professional estate agent that brings the property to the market will have full access to the whole market and you don't need to pay these very high fees to get access to these underbidders. They're all online essentially. 
So the final piece of advice that I would give is that Auctioneer provides a no sale, no fee offering which allows you to bring a property to the market on a risk-free basis. The vast majority of our vendors are delighted with the price that they achieve and obviously they pay the lowest fees on the market. If for any reason you're unhappy with the service provided, you can delist and cancel your arrangement with Auctioneer at no cost to you. So I would say call our bluff, trust us with the sale of your property and the vast majority of our vendors who do that are delighted that they've made that decision.